call me crazy, but we've heard this one before. It's all about location, location, location. A property with a beach view, certainly desirable, but just how far will some go to get it? News 2's Travis Rice has the story on the fight over trees on Sullivan's Island. Hey, good evening, guys. A lawsuit that affects just about every landowner here on Sullivan's Island is over, but now the controversy enters a new phase. Sullivan's Island taking its trees seriously after a recent ruling against homeowners who had been suing the town to prune trees blocking their view. In November, a Sullivan's Island man was found guilty for illegally cutting 200 trees. This sketch by a witness instrumental in identifying the man later ticketed by police. Here, a map of the trees that had been tampered with. Residents say mosquitoes and cesspools like that are another reason why they need the maritime forest to suck up the rainwater. So it does, in a way, become a fire hazard. Rick Reed, an islander and conservationist, says neighbors trying to trim trees themselves mess with the ecology. What we've got is a patchwork quilt uh, of somebody manage this this way and somebody manage that that way and it just doesn't work. Reed hopes the town can reach a compromise with the former plaintiffs. With some patience and some management and some clearing, particularly of invasives, uh, opening up some windows, they can have their cake and eat it too. With the ruling out of the way, the town of Sullivan's Island plans to move forward with its land management plan. The first meeting for that is next week. In Sullivan's Island, Travis Rice, News 2.